Hi everyone and welcome to another video on the amazing YouTube channel called Thrive in South Africa. The ultimate how-to channel on thriving and not just surviving in South Africa. Today we're going to be diving into a question that a lot of people have wondered about. Is will my new CCTV camera be compatible with my old DVR? So a lot of people have existing DVRs in their homes and typically this is an example of a DVR. This is an 8-channel DVR, Hick Vision. You'll see it's got 8 ports at the back. This is an analog DVR, by the way. It's got a VGA output, an HDMI output, a place for your network cable, two USB ports, and your power supply, and then also audio in and output. Typically, this is what you've got now at home. One of your cameras breaks, or you want to upgrade or you want to add some more cameras. Now the question is, you're stuck. You've gone to the shop, you've seen this is a ProVision, it's not the same. ProVision camera, what do you do now? So there's a couple of questions that you can do, or that you can go through, that should answer this for you, and that will assist you to make the right decision. First of all, what to check for. Is the DVR analog or IP? Now, as we've discussed, this is an analog DVR, you'll see it's got coax ports, it runs from here to the camera straight without anything else except the power and the signal cable. An IP NVR or an IP um, based camera will run on network cable, that's the main difference. So the easiest way to see is if your DVR has those coax ports at the back or BNC ports that is an analog DVR. Next question is what is the max resolution of the DVR? Now, looking at the DVR, there's no way that you'll know by just looking at it. You'll have to look at the back of it or at the bottom. You'll see a model number. The best that I can suggest is go to Google, type in that model number, search for it, go into the settings, and have a look at the spec sheet. The spec sheet will tell you what the max resolution is of that DVR. The next question is, is the DVR 4-in-1? That you'll see in the spec sheet as well. Now, what is 4-in-1? Right, so you've got four different signal types of cameras. First of all, you've got AHD, which is analog HD. These are typically your ProVision cameras. So, you'll see the ProVision camera has got a, a description there. Under the description, you'll see it says AHD. So those are typically your ProVision cameras. HD TVI, these are your Hick Vision cameras. HD CVI, typically it's Daiwa, or what they also call themselves Alhua. And then lastly is your CVBS, or analog signal. That's prior to all these advanced uh, signal types, you had your standard analog signal. Right, so back, back to this, is the DVR 4-in-1 uh, that you will see in the spec sheet? Very important, if it's not 4-in-1 and it's a Hikvision DVR, you're only going to be able to run a Hikvision camera on that. Next question, is the camera 4-in-1? Now this is pretty simple. The camera itself has um, the description on it. This is a 4-in-1 camera that makes it very easy, easy to... Um, add it on any brand of DVR. So I'll open this up and just show you what I mean by 4-in-1. Alright, so this is a dome camera. Dome cameras can be mounted indoor and outdoor. This specific camera is IP66 rated, which means it's dust and waterproof. This is what I was talking about um, for the 4-in-1. So you've got Four formats that can run on. I hope it can get it. I can get it into focus here. Four cameras that can run on. This is HD, TVI, CVI, and CVBS. And then hidden there is a last toggle, which is NTSC or PAL. South Africa only runs on PAL, so never question that. So typically you'd open this up and you'd choose your um, signal type. 
So between HD TVI, HD CVI, AHD, and CVBS. So here you've got your toggle switch that you can toggle up and down according to what signal you require. So simple enough is if the DVR is Hick Vision and the camera is ProVision, you'd be putting your camera on HD TVI so that Hick Vision signal for the Hick Vision DVR. Next question is what is the resolution of the camera? So this specific camera is a 2 megapixel or what is also called a 1080p camera. So there you'll see it says they're Pro 1080p. It's 2 megapixel. Again, you'll have to check the spec sheet of your DVR. So if you've already got the DVR at home and you're looking at upgrading, go have a look at the spec sheet of the DVR. See prior to going and buying more cameras, what is the max resolution of the, uh, of the DVR and then what will be the max resolution of the camera that you can buy. The problem is that if the DVR is older, for instance, these DVRs came out four or five years ago, so typically they might not be supporting the latest 4 megapixel or 5 megapixel. Now you've gone and made a uh, judgment error or made a mistake and you bought a 4 or 5 megapixel camera. Which brings me to the question, what is the worst case? Worst case scenario is you've now got a 4 megapixel camera, ProVision, it's not even the same brand as the DVR you're going to have to switch it to analog. That's the only solution that's left. When you switch it down to analog, you will have display. It will show in color. It will work. But unfortunately, it will degrade the quality of the camera. So instead of having a 4 megapixel camera resolution, it might bring it down to whatever the DVR is, which might be 1.3 megapixel, which is also called 720p, or 1080p, which is 2 megapixel. That's a worst case scenario. So if you have gone ahead and bought an analog camera and it's now not showing on your DVR, switch it to CVBS or what's called analog and you will have display. That's all from my side. Thanks for watching and as always, stay safe, stay informed and thrive in South Africa. Please subscribe below and click on more videos here in the corner. We'll see you in the next video.